Hello from the Amex Stadium, and here's the good news. The rain has stayed away. It's a clear night in this part of England. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Sully March, number 14. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa stands between the posts. Christian Pulisic starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. Thank you for attending today's game at the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the match. And this confrontation is underway. Trossard. Lalana. March. And good pressure high up the pitch. Trossard. Teammate available. Well, to be blunt, misfiring with the header. Sterling. Here's Kovacic. Sterling has it. This is Loftus Cheek. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. It could be for Raheem Sterling. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. March. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And a throw in it's going to be. How about the cross? Lalana. Trosa. Must take the lead here. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. And played the pass well. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, no way through. Pulisic. Connor Gallagher. Havertz. Mount. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Caicedo. Lalana. March. And after the cross, a tremendous block. 
Sterling. Mount. This is Loftus Cheek. Connor Gallagher. Cucurella. Well, now it's with Ruben Loftus Cheek. And he's won the ball. An incisive pass. Running with the ball confidently. Cuts it back. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Trossard. Can he finish this? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, a second goal for them here. Mateo Kovacic. Mount. Now with Havertz. Lalana. And Lalana losing out. Mateo Kovacic. Mount. Havertz. Well, now it's with Ruben Loftus cheek. It has to be a goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So they get the ball rolling again. And Chelsea are giving this a real go. Shielding the ball superbly. Alexis McAllister. They've regained possession. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch, and that's been key to them leading at the moment. Now he must favour the cross. And Pulisic has it. And a really good diving stop. Well, opting for the short corner. Losing possession a bit easily. Well, it's been difficult for Brighton to get too much of the ball so far, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball.
And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Sterling. Mateo Kovacic. Mount. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. So back in business and Chelsea behind. Let's see if they're able to bounce back in this half. Loftus cheek. Sterling has it. Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. No nonsense clearance. Sterling. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. No well, possibilities in the centre. The cut back. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Substitution time it is here. And now the delivery. Oh, so near, off the post. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Pulisic. And it might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. Given away by Pulisic. And giving it away. Sterling. Vital interception. The danger was very real. 30 minutes to go then. And they know they need to stop him. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Well, as you can see, Chelsea have dominated the last 15 minutes and they've created chances. It just now needs one of those chances to be taken, but you feel it's coming. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Conor Gallagher, to be replaced by number 9, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang, Mateo Kovacic. Here's Kovacic. Loftus cheek. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? And return to Havertz. 
This looks threatening. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. Showing a real will to win the ball. Obama Young. And Sterling has it. Firing it towards goal. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. <laughs> Playing it in. Oh, he's blocked it! Kovacic. Not just cheek. And Kai Havertz. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Ziyech. And now with Aubameyang. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Sterling. And return to Ziyech. It's with Hakim Ziyech. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Mwepu. Trossard. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. <laughs> Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. Corner given. <laughs> Delivering it. Well, no end product. Pascal Gross. Dunk. Gives it a go! Oh, what a fine save, and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope, because that would have been the end. Let's see about the delivery. Well, able to close down the short. Struggling to get it away. Rose. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Loftus cheek. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Kovacic. Onto a Yang, and the keeper had the measure of it. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser.
played over. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Kai Havertz. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Alexis McAllister. March. A foul, but advantage played. Had a chance to whip it in here. March now. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. This could be it. Really good diving save. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Well, over the top, but it will go through to the keeper. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Can they fashion some? The final whistle then. The referee says that will be all. And Chelsea fans less than pleased. No points for Chelsea from this game. Yes, Derek, they were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.